Hey guys, welcome to a pack with me where you pack orders every day with me. Every day I come out to ship and I go over what sold, um, how much I made, how much the sale price was, and how much I made, and all of the all of the details. So I do that every day for one week. Well, every day I have sales for one week and share that with you and see how it is. As a new reseller, my name is JC and I am in my soap lab right now. So this is where I make soap, but I also pack my Posh orders, eBay orders, and also my soap orders on my Shopify for my small business. Let's get started. First thing that's up is this dress that I did a haul for vlog 22 and it was actually my thumbnail picture so this did not sell on Poshmark or eBay a friend of mine saw that thumbnail on a video I posted on my Facebook and she said I want that dress so she is coming by the farm where that's I live on a farm and picking this up I do wrap pickup orders the same way I wrap my Poshmark and eBay orders. I like that touch of the, well, there's a random string, of the, I don't know, just the kind of boutique like I talked about in my last packing video. I have been listing because it seems it's been very slow. I only have three orders today, actually two from yesterday, one from today. So this will be thanks to Rachel for purchasing this dress. So she bought this dress for 33. I had it listed for 33. She bought it for 33. And I know she is going to look so cute in this. So like I said, I will pack this just like I packed, I mean, minus the mail, minus the mailbox. So I will, um, I'll put her name on here and that for her. The next thing up, I went and went through my summer stuff and anything like summer, um, I went through and did a 50% off and out of, I don't remember how many things I did, how many things I, um, like discounted, how many items it was, but I got one and this is the tag and it is just like a t-shirt dress, a sleeveless t-shirt dress that has, it's like a fit and flare with the side pockets. I love this. It is the stretched jersey knit, the rayon spandex. Um, it's just in really great condition. This is great for layering. So even though we're going into fall and winter, it is still great to be able to layer and have comfort and have those pockets. So that is great about that. Now I had it listed for 22. When I sent out that half offer, she got an offer of 11 with discount shipping. And with that, she also, she got, yeah, she got it for 11. And my cost or my, um, earnings on this was six dollars and two cents this i've had for a long time the haul is already paid for so i my profit is six dollars and two cents on that i'm going to put her packing slip on so for my poshmark orders i use the free bags from usps and boxes and for my ebay orders i use the, my mailers that I have, but I don't have any email, eBay orders today. I did send out an offer to some likers, so hopefully that will resort in a sale. Oh no, don't tell me these bags are doing this again. Let me see. So I got another item out of my closet. I'm going thrifting Sunday for about I'm really gonna try to just hang in there and go four to five hours at the at the Goodwill Benz and try to source some really good items. Not just get anything because it's cheap, but get some really good uh, quality clothing that's stylish. Um, I can't wait. Well, actually, y'all will already have seen my thrift haul video from the last time I went. It's a combination of my 
Goodwill and Goodwill outlet and my local thrift store. So I have a comparison kind of thing to show you what each haul looks like, how much I spent uh, per item. So this is going to Nancy in North Carolina. Oh, great, that's awesome. Okay, next up, this is the one from this morning when I have been, so I am like in hair in a bun, work jeans and a sweatshirt because I have been cleaning and organizing. I was in my um, posh closet cleaning and organizing. These are some Torrid 18 regular jeggings. How cute, how cute, nice and distressed. Love it. And I had these listed for 25 and she liked them. Posture VA sent out a 10% offer with discount ship and she bought them for $22 and that discount shipping. So, actually, I wanna do that reversed. There we go. Really nice pair of jeans. I think she's going to enjoy these. And so, my earnings on these pants after the 10% off and discount shipping was $15.58. Here's my packing slip with thank you. I think these will go fine in my priority mailer. These should be good. I might just do extra tape. And this is going to go to Alicia in Florida. Yay. So it's exciting because I'm getting my soap lab all situated and ready because I'm gonna be teaching soap making classes to people in my community. So I'm really excited about that. I just gotta get it cleaned up in here so I can line like four to five students up. This is our was our garage. So um, it's now my soap lab. Look, that is not sticking. All right. Okay guys, I'll be back, hopefully with some more sales. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Friday the 20th, October 20th. I can't believe we're gonna be out of October soon. So the first item up that I have is an H&M smocked animal print maxi dress. How cute. I feel like the lighting isn't as good. Is the lighting not as good? I've been turning this one on because um, when I just use my main light on my, um, that's attached to the top of my camera, it, um, it looks kind of blue almost. So there's the, I mean, y'all probably know what an H&M tag looks like. So I don't know if it's focusing, it's probably focusing on me, but it is a size um, extra, extra large. I had it listed for 35. I had a lot a lot of likers. I say a lot, 11, 11 likers. And uh, I sent out offers. And then finally someone sent me a $23 offer. And I said, it's time, it's time to like, <laughs> how did I get the arm in there? It's time to let go of this dress. It is time. It is 100% um, viscose. I thought, you know, I do like picking up H&M. I thought it would be, I thought since this was more substantial. Again, all of the sales today have are free and clear. I have already made my money back on the haul, but in my title, I will still put what I paid for them. Um, you know, because technically I really turned this into from, well, some of them, not all of them, and from zero because, uh oh, I came undone because they're already done. Oh, I gotta pull my bags out. I put all my shipping bags and stuff back under here. So I just move them out when I'm ready to, because I pack my soap orders right here as well. And I've been in my, this is my soap lab. I've been in it and cleaning because I'm actually recording a how to make soap video for my other channel. Um, 
which I'll, I'll link that below. It's my farm channel. We just reached 8,000 on my farm channel. So that's really exciting. All right, so yes. She offered me 23 and I said, absolutely, you can have this dress. I am being a new reseller. I think it's a, it's a constant, I'm just checking the numbers, make sure they match. Um, a constant battle with figuring out what sells, what doesn't sell. You know, I try to pick up substantial pieces that have good fabric because a lot of times I can't really find brands like you know, there's some, you'll see, I have something here that, well, really isn't a brand, but something unique that um, sold for a good amount. I was expecting, I guess, a little more, but at some point, you just got to go. Someone offers you, you're like, absolutely, <laughs> that would be awesome. So that will be coming up here soon. So this, it's a really nice dress. I, I think it's amazing, the smocked. Um, look with the balloon sleeves, everything is really great. I think about it. I've moved my thank you stickers. So everything I need, I've moved over here so that all my packages can go that way. So yeah, it helps. Put my thank you sticker on there. All right. So this is going to Leanne in Texas. Really? That's exciting. Hope she enjoys that. Next one up is this cotton... It's 100% cotton button down. It has no brand name in it, but I got it because based on style, it's gauzy. It's that cotton feel. It's a tunic button down. It's frayed, you know, got some distressing on it. Not distressing as in the whole bodice, but just the frayed edges. And it's a soft, that soft pale pink. That's why I got it. And I had gotten this probably three months ago. Um, it's got a, a kind of a defined waist on there and it does have pockets so that makes that gives it an extra feature that is nice when um, when sourcing items so I had I didn't write the rest of my other stuff down I had this listed I, I believe for uh, 25 she um, offered 22 and I said, absolutely, absolutely. So my earnings on this was $17.60 on this shirt. Again, I think I really need to work on pricing. Oh, and you know what I'm also, I, I went through this morning. Um, <laughs> we've been waking up at like 2.30 in the morning and, and bit, like wide awake, like why? And I start to kind of let my, Kind of let the, my thoughts get the best of me. I'm like, so I just went through because it just seemed really slow on Poshmark. I'm never really busy on eBay, but I went through and I just started, I just started taking items down, like asking price. I started just going through and taking them down. Um, unintentionally, I didn't know there was a closet clear out going on, so they were put on closet clear out. So now that I'm thinking, because there's no there's no um, fee to me for shipping, so I'm like, if she did an offer, there wouldn't be anyway. But anyway, I'm just saying that this might that might have been a might have been a response to that. Um, so I'm still not intentionally doing closet clear out. I just went through my closet. I have like 500 550 items, I believe, and I just went through, tried to to um, to publicly reduce everything, just to not everything, but certain things that I'm like, you know, let me check comps again, because what can happen in three months is what I comped could be, you know, fit right in with what I originally priced it for, but now the demand and uh, it's not as, you know, wanted or whatever. And so that could have changed. And so I did go back in in my edit and I looked back what Poshmark was saying, hey, around this, and I just picked dead in the middle and put that, listed that. So, I mean, I got some sales. Some of them are low. Some of them are um, high, but they're sales. I made a profit. Um, I really think I, even though I, I'm, I'm learning and sourcing um, and getting better at that, there's still 
They're moving. That's that's the point. Yeah. All right. Let me check that. I just want to check them. I'm just paranoid that I'm going to send somebody the wrong thing. So there's these nuts. Yeah, that's right. So this nice little gauzy tunic is going to go to Ina in Pennsylvania. Yay. That is great. I will check these before to make sure that they're sealed good. All right, next up is this Tetris. It's a Palestinian um, shawl. This is a, I found this at the Benz and I was like amazed. I was very intrigued by it, was investigating. I mean, it is gorgeous and it's a shawl. You can see that. That is so cool. And these, it's supposedly hand stitched. There is no brand tag, but where's it at? This is, someone told me on eBay, cause somebody on eBay asked me. That's the only little stamped writing and it's actually feels like ink. It feels like it raised ink. So someone on eBay about a few weeks ago, I had it listed for 144 and someone on eBay asked me, Hey, can, do you know if it's, you know, real? I'm like, well, I don't know. I don't know. Well, can you take the stitching and look at the back? So you can tell, I guess, if it's hand sewn from the back. I mean, you can feel raised pieces from the back. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. That would de that would like minimize the, the resale value of it. If I open up a seam, I'd have to disclose that. And so obviously he, that person didn't buy it. But again, I went through this morning because I'm up. So, so I went through and I took this down to $65. And I did have likers on it. I think I had three or four likers on it. And again, I got this about three months ago. Y'all are probably like, do it this way. Or like, <laughs> well, I'm trying to figure this out. Ooh, here we go. Let's do it both back and forth this way. I kind of want to fold these in to protect them. But anyway, so I was so thrilled this morning when I got um, an offer for $55. It's so like, thank you, Lord. This is awesome. Cause in reality, you know, I'm getting these things to, I don't know if I should do it that way. I don't want to put it in a bag. I think I'm going to put it in a box. I want this to have a home where it's going to be used. I want my items to have a home where it's going to be used. That's the purpose of pulling them from the bins or wherever I get them, sourcing them. And, you know, so that they have a new home, they have a new purpose in life. And so I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled with that someone's going to get this and they probably know what it is. But this whole, um, the making and the stitching is, has been taught and down from great grandparents to, and kids today are still learning how to do this stitching how to make these. It's a tradition. I think it's pretty cool. So, um, definitely happy I pulled it out so it wouldn't go to the landfill. Don't need more stuff in the landfill. That's for sure. All right. Yeah, I'm going to do a box. I am going to do a box. I just, I don't know, a little bit more protection, even though the bags are waterproof. And I will add additional piece of paper just to keep it from moving back and forth. I might need two actually because this is kind of big for... Oh, you know what I forgot? I always do that. I get ahead of myself. There's the rain. It's raining. Oh, it makes me want to take a nap. Drink a, drink a latte, take a nap and do nothing. All right, so this shawl 
Oh, she absolutely knows what this is. I'm so excited. Um, Maya, I'm so sorry. If you were watching, I'm not spelling your name right, but or saying your name right. But it's it looks like Maya, Mayada in Texas. How awesome. I'm so excited. You're going to get a good home. Yay. Okay. And you're off. Oh, I'm sorry. I, so I got to tell you. So my total earnings on that was $44. Um, and I found it going to, at the bins, going to be in the landfill. That's so motivating to just keep doing it. All right. So next up is these American Eagle Next Level Stretch Jeans, size 22. And I've had these. I had 18 likers on these. How many likers did I have? 19 likers on these. I had them listed for 25. They are a, they are a skinny, I guess. They delete the leg is, it's jeggings actually. Are these jeggings? Something like that. So it's uh, 2019. So will I pick up 2019 American Eagles again? Mm, maybe not. Somebody liked them, but I, I lowered the price and someone offered me 12. Dollars, 12 dollars. And you know what? Obviously I said yes. <laughs> I did not counter offer. I was just not worried about it. Nope. I was like, thank you for the sale. Awesome. And I'm getting these out because she messaged me. She's going on vacation and wants these jeans. And I said, I ship every day. Well, except when it hits sales Saturday, but yes every day so I made nine dollars and five cents on these jeans and I am perfectly fine with that my cost of goods has already been um, this is free and clear so and guess what I can go and source how many pairs how much to let's see I probably could buy three pairs of jeans in the bins for nine dollars because my bins is a dollar 89 a pound so it's raining i should put on here enjoy your vacation i just said thanks enjoy there you go so these are going to mckenzie in pennsylvania we got another pennsylvania thank you mckenzie I hope you come back and shop again. These are great. I love the distressing. Next level stretch. I have so many jeans. I think I'm just picking up the wrong ones. Last one for this time, this go around. I'll be back for weekend sales for the rest of Friday. Saturday and Sunday, so I'd say say a prayer, but it's already over with. I'll say a prayer. All right, so isn't this adorable? So I picked this up. I remember, because I was it's 100% cotton, so I was like, okay, good, cotton. Allison Brittany is nothing special, but, <laughs> get it up there. Um, can you see that? This, I love the boho, I love the, the layers. All right, so, and I did comps. I remember standing in the bends doing comps and one like this, same layered, but it was more muted. It was more like blues and purples and not these rose colored uh, panels. And it sold for $30. There were some that sold for less. Um, but it sold for $30 and that's why I picked it up. I was like, oh, that's so cool. This is, you know, somebody else is going to like it too. And, um, nope. <laughs> so I believe I listed it. I think I listed it for 32 at one point. Oh my gosh, my paper's going everywhere. I listed it at 32 and I, I feel bad for this for her because evidently, you know, I was sending out offers I was sending out offers and she, so she kept getting these offers. And the last offer was like $12 cause I just went through and sent out offers to um, 
like yesterday or so to people, to my likers. So it had expired. It was a $12.95 offer for five and a $5.95 shipping discount. And it expired yesterday. So she offered me eight. And the, the difference between the two deals is $1. So I would just be, I'm $1 less than what I was if I, if she would have taken the $12.95 with the $5.95 shipping. Um, and that's the, that's the only difference. What is that? Oh, okay. I said, yep, <laughs> you can have the skirt. And it's a great, it's a great skirt. It's even lined. I mean, it's got so many things going for it besides the, necessary besides the brand name besides the Alice and Brittany name, because that's yeah, not anything people are like busting down the door for. Um, so my total earnings, again, these all these are already accounted for. I don't have to deduct any cost of goods. Um, was $6 and, oh, I'm sorry, it was $5 and five cents. And I am fine with that. It's, I still made a profit. It's adding up. And I am thankful for the sale. And I hope she comes back again, remembers my closet. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna run to the post, it's raining. I'm gonna run to the post office. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay guys, I have three sales. It has been pretty slow, but I wanna make sure when I get back here, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I don't have my glasses, so I can't see. This is actually a shirt I thrifted at the bins and I'm keeping it, but you'll see this in the haul. What vlog was that? 24? Vlog 24? All right, so first sale up, which I was very thrilled about. Is this the one that I was, yes. It are, and this, this is a bolo. I will say this is a bolo. And now when I did the haul video, um, I'll put the vlog, what vlog it was when I had got this. Which are these page jeans? Now I thought for sure because they're size 28 um, that they would take a while to sell. But let me tell you the actual name: Margot Ultra Skinny. These I've seen some sell for $60. I went ahead and listed mine for for 55 and I got an offer for 45 and I said yes you can have these jeans guys I found these at the bins so exciting so my cost of goods was I believe 135 on that haul and think that's a great return. I was surprised. It only took a week. So I was really surprised at that. I knew they were selling because I was checking those comps, but I was really expecting them to sit for a while. So I was happy about that. Nope, my stickers are over here. I changed it up, forgot. So that is exciting. I appreciate such a fair offer. And go ahead and put my packing slip on here. These are gonna go to Renee in Arizona. Fun, fun. I guess they're getting ready for fall as well. Since these are jeans, I will put a little extra tape on here. Sure. I am ordering the free tape from USPS. It says priority mail on it. So I don't have to use my tape. That's an expense. I'm trying to use um, as many free items as I can. Okay, so the next up, this was also in the same haul with those jeans, is this For the Republic sweatshirt, or sweater actually. It's a tight knit, it's kind of like a tight knit. Um, sweatshirt sweater. How cute is that? This is a small. That's the tag. Y'all didn't get to see it. So this sold. 
pretty fast. I'm real excited about that. So cute. It's got that um, nice, worn, cozy sweatshirt, sweater feel to it. It is viscose and polyester and nylon. That's the fabric. I have this listed for, I believe, 25. Uh, I sent an offer. Um, so I probably had it listed for 23. Yeah, I probably had it listed for 23. And uh, I sent her an offer. She liked it, and Tasha VA sent her an offer. So that um, came to $20 for her with discount shipping. And my total earnings is $13.98. Um, because of, what was the other thing that sold? Because that polka dot dress that sold, I'll go back and check just to make sure, but my total cost from that haul is already paid for. I, I believe that that covered it. So that's exciting. So I don't have any cost of goods to take out. Um, technically per per haul. All right guys, I had this free people tunic top Really cute was thrilled to find this at the bins <laughs> um, I had it listed for 40 and Which that seemed you know comps I can't I think I came to the free people party a little late because I was you know watching a lot of resellers on on YouTube and trying to figure out figure out the whole whole thing and I was like okay free people okay find it find free people <laughs> and then by the time I'm finding free people they're like meh it's not selling that great now I think I think that's funny that's how it works that's that's just how it works you know there's a hot item and then it's not, not saying free people doesn't sell um I think something more substantial maybe a dress and I actually did find a top yesterday when I went thrifting. It'll be another vlog. So, um, oh yay! I might have to pack another order. Okay. So, okay, so, um, anyway, just, so, on the free people train, I, I just know, yeah, you know what? I'll pick up free people when I see it. Very rarely do I see it at the bins. I have a very limited bins. <laughs> Although, I do find some great things. I can't complain. I cannot complain. But I will pick it up. I just know that I'm going to have to list it for, um, basically, um, she came and bought it for $22. She, she offered 20 I said 25 She came back and said 22 I'm like, you know what? I got to get this thing going with Poshmark. So let's just, let's go. Let's sell it. And it's probably, I probably had it for... Maybe a month, maybe, maybe, maybe a month, maybe six weeks, something like that. So I'm excited. I got a good deal on it. I, I'm sure I didn't pay more than a dollar fifty. That's typically what my Ben's fines come to be anywhere from a dollar fifty under, unless I'm getting lots, lots of sweaters or whatever. But, um, so, and she's getting a great, she's getting a great tunic top, which that makes me happy as well. And hopefully she will return. I'm not using that one. This is going to Debbie in Texas. Wow. Oh, did I even say, I didn't say that this one, this, this cat shirt's going to Kayla in Colorado. How fun. I got like Arizona, Texas, Colorado. All right, I'm gonna accept this offer. And I just listed this, just listed it. Scarves, scarves, list your scarves. Get them out of your money pile. Someone commented on my YouTube about calling it a money pile because I was like, I hate calling it a death pile. Anyway, get it out of your money pile and list your scarves. This was a wool cashmere infinity scarf. I listed it for 25. I sent her the deal of 22 with discount ship of 595, but she missed it. She messaged me. She said, can you send me the deal again? Well, I can't send the deal again because it's already been sent. But I told her, if you offer me 20, that's the same. You're, you're all in at the same amount as the deal was. I just sent her that message. And so she just did and I accepted. And so let me run and get that and just pack it. All right, speaking of an inventory system, I was like, where's that scarf? <laughs> I just literally listed maybe, maybe two days ago. Um, not can't even be that, but I will go through it. This is so soft. 
Um, it is really cozy and would be really kind of a, I say in my listing that, um, you know, not only, you know, scarves are great and not only keeps you warm, but it does help finish out a fall or winter outfit. So let me get the tag. This isn't like a, a brand where you're gonna get a ton, but let's see that. Hopefully it focuses. I should wear my glasses so I can see if it's focusing. Um, the, some of the video I've already been editing, I saw that it wasn't focusing. So we're gonna get this out to her. It makes me happy to ship fast for people. Oh, and someone else corrected me on um, on here that you can, because I got a, I got a thing that says no, you can't ship. It's, it hasn't been three hours yet on something else, and that was on a buy now. That's, they only do that on a buy now. If it's on an offer or someone makes you an offer that you accept, you can ship out when you're ready to ship out. You don't have to wait the three hours. So I misspoke on that. So yes, this has wool and cashmere. I did use earth tone neutral in the description because I think people search that out. A lot of people don't want bright colors or they want something that's gonna go neutral with different outfits. So I made sure I put that in the description. That is important. Sorry, my dehumidifier is on. I just realized that it just turned off. Let me know if that white noise bothers you. Um, oh, I have to print her. <laughs> I gotta print her thing. Okay, yeah, I reached over to get it. I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta, the other part I have to do, I have to print it. So <laughs> I did write my thank you note on here. So this is, it's always interesting and proof that you list everything no matter what season you're in because this is going to gabrielle in florida so that's pretty awesome and maybe she's going someplace on vacation where it's going to be cold or who knows that is it for today i have three more days monday tuesday and wednesday to calculate sales so i will be back for more sales, hopefully we'll get some things moving here. Now that I accepted an offer, maybe that'll jumpstart some things. All right, I'll be back. Okay, hey guys, welcome back. And I have two sales and still two days left to go. So let's pack these up. I'm also packing soap orders. I got my soap orders. I've got body butters, oils melting to get that. Um, an order of body butters sent out because I ran out of some. This is a Jessica Howard evening gown. I got this at my family provisions and I paid a dollar for this dress. Really great condition. It's a size 16. So all the beading along the front, I do want to protect to make sure it's not going to snag on anything so I will be folding this in half and then um, crisscrossing this paper over so it touches the paper and not the fabric but I'm using two sheets to do this because I'll keep crisscrossing over and I will put this in a box but I will need to make it a little smaller there we go. It's in really great condition. I was really happy to find it. I did comps, I did look up comps, and you know, the Jessica Howard dresses go all over the place on comps, so you just kinda, I priced it, you know, people had dresses like this listed in the 60s, but when I went and looked at the sale comps, they were more around the 30s and 40s, selling for 30s and 40s. So, I mean, there were some that were a little higher, but, um, so I just priced mine at, I priced mine at, yeah, listed it for 32 and she got it on a sale for 28, that must've been less than, um, for 28 with discount shipping. So my total earnings on this dress was $20 and 38 cents. I will use a box for this because I want it protected. And 
I have so many hauls, thrifting hauls to record. Um, Cause what I have been doing is on Sunday around noon, that's when my Goodwill outlet store opens. Oh, this is one of the box. I'm not using this one. That one's a little damaged on the side. I've been going to, they open at 12 and I have been staying for about four hours. Now, even though I'm staying for four hours, I still only end up with maybe like 30, 30 items. I mean, my cart is like so full of, of things, but then when I go back through them again, but this last time I went, my phone died. So I could not run comps. That was a little scary. <laughs> Granted, I only spent $34, so, which is pretty awesome. I did get some things that, um, I don't know. That'll be the haul after this video. That's for sure. I need my stickers. So my, Sept my uh, September was definitely better as of today. So I'm hoping with some more orders that will change and that will get better. And well, time will tell, we'll see. This is going to Melinda in Pennsylvania. Hope she's got a hot date to go on. That'd be great. Next up, I've had this forever. I do not pick up Michael Kors anymore. <laughs> well, especially Michael Kors, Michael Kors. Oh, that scared me, that's stitching. All I saw was like, like a brownish color and I thought it was like staining, but that says Michael Kors, Michael Kors, Michael Kors. I mean, every little thing, I got it because it was like, um, kind of like a bomber jacket. Um, and everything has like Michael Kors, Michael Kors on it. Even when you open it up, I mean, the zipper has Michael, has MK on it. You open it up, the lining has Michael Kors on it. So it was like, okay, this looks like it's really well made and thought out. So, um, again, I found this. I did, actually, I did find this one at the Benz. So again, my cost of goods typically run between a dollar. I think one of the most times at the Benz, maybe a dollar fifty. Um, but it's scary, you know, when you find something white at the Benz and it's like, where is, any, is anything wrong with it? So I did have this one listed for 38. And someone liked it, Pastor VA sent out a offer and they got it for 32. So after all the fees and everything, my total earnings on this was 23.58. So yeah, I have constantly likers liking things and Pastor VA sending out offers, waiting, <laughs> waiting on someone to order some more. It's a lot of fun, but nerve wracking at the same time. Because one minute it's like, oh yeah, people like my stuff. And then the next minute I'm like, everybody hates my closet. There's nothing in there good. The thoughts of a reseller. All right, I will, I was gonna say, I'll be, I'll be back with some more sales. Got two more days. So Wednesday to Wednesday. And this is going to Dottie in Virginia, my state. Yay. See y'all for the next sale. Okay guys, this is the last day for sales, the 25th. So from the 18th to the 25th was the cutoff date. Midnight was the cutoff date. And I have four things, is that right? Yes, four things. We're gonna start off with eBay. So I have these boys' shoes that Morel, I think that's how you say it. I found these and I paid $2.95 for them. The haul has been paid for. So this is free and clear profit on this. Um, I did check, check the shoes back over and make sure all is good. I even take the lint roller and kind of lint roll. These are leather. They're more of an outdoor active wear type shoe for boys. So I was really excited that to get this. I had them listed for 20 on eBay and um, someone came in and offered 15. And I believe I had it set up as an automatic. 
I think it's an automatic, it was an automatic thing that came up. So that was, you know what, I might, I'm not using that box. That's the box that has issues, so I'm not using that one. So, um, I believe they paid, um, oh, I'll pull it up on my phone, but I believe they paid $10 for shipping, and the shipping came out to be $7 and something, so my total earnings on these shoes was uh, $15.53 is what it came out to. So, even though it sold for $15, the fees and everything, the excess shipping that they paid covered that. So I don't, again, I don't do a packing slip with um, my eBay orders. I don't print that extra piece with my eBay orders, but I will put the thank you sticker on here. So I get that and, and I will put the thank you sticker. Wow, those are really wide and taking up room. Why won't that close? Well, maybe I just didn't bend it in the right way. No, I didn't. I forget those little flaps there. I had a meeting earlier this morning, so I'm in uh, one of my thrifted blazers, vintage blazer that I thrifted linen. So I love, I love wearing jumpers or like rompers and putting a little blazer or jacket on. It's so nice. I was gonna throw my <laughs> my my lattes over here. I don't want to like spill it. So yeah, that was my one eBay order. All right, next up, Poshmark. Now the next three are Poshmark orders. This is a vintage maxi um, Ann Taylor Loft jean shirt skirt with a belt. How cute, love it. I am thrilled that someone is going to be wearing this. I keep forgetting I have my hanger here. And yeah, I'm just so excited. It is an amazing condition amazing condition like i i just think somebody must have just stored this in their closet and just yeah great i'm not folding folding i'm kind of doing an accordion thing here or trying anyway make sure it's going to fit in the box because i will put this in a box here we go I think that looks good. I'll see that. So I did have this listed for 32 and she liked it. An offer was sent out. Anyway, her cost was 29 with discount shipping and the fees from Poshmark. My total earnings was 2118. Again, this haul is paid for, but when I put my stats in the description, uh, in the title of the YouTube video, I do put down, look, I turned this much into this much because um, just to say, hey, if even if I didn't account for my my haul being paid for, this is the, this, these are the numbers. So what it comes down to. But really with inventory, I'm very clear. That happens too with my soap company. You know, I'll have oils and butters that I buy to make things. And by the time I'm done with like, say, you know, a batch of soap or whatever and certain amount of bars sell, I'm pretty much free and clear from that inventory. Oh, I forgot to put a thank you note on here. Thank you. So this is going to Donna in Washington, Washington State. And I'm just checking my numbers because I don't want to ever send someone a wrong thing. That's for sure. Not saying it's never going to happen, but I try to, yeah, this is right to make sure. I do have a new inventory system that I'm working on. Um, and it's kind of like a trial to see if it does work. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see, maybe. <laughs> All right, next up is this jacket I just listed yesterday. So this sold, it is a Indigo Moon. You okay? Yeah, why is the air still blowing out of that thing? Oh, it's, it's probably still, see if you pl unplug it. So I made um, a, I use my espresso maker to make my latte and it's still blowing air. So yeah, Indigo Moon. I saw comps on Poshmark and there were some kind of close to selling 32 was the kind of a top mark. 
and I there was nothing like this with these bright colors. I love it. And so, you know, I was like, you know what? This is really different. It's bright. It's not like others that are, you know, other ones that I've seen. It's the patchwork is definitely uh, bright. Actually, I might want to turn this around. And unique. So I wonder if I should button one of these or just do that. Yeah, let's do it that way. And then I'll fold it one more time. Oh, in my brain, it seemed to be better than this, but. So the, one of the methods I will use is the, I did order some plastic bags, but I'm not gonna be shipping in plastic bags. I will be storing certain things in plastic bags and then I better have, you know, their numbers according to the box that they're gonna be in. But I will be able to take out of the item, check it over again, making sure everything's good, put the bag in where I can have like a, a thing of empty bags to be able to use again so that's reusable plastic and continue to wrap and do my orders like I do here with this. All right, so this one I'm gonna put in a, just a, a little bit of a smaller box, yeah. So I listed this for 44 because I was like, you know what, this is a 1X, it's more uh, detailed than the other ones. I mean, I was looking through all the solds and um, everything just trying to get a good idea for comps. And, all right, did I not print that one up? Hold on, I'm missing a mail thing. Did it fall on the ground? Okay, so that scared me. I was about to open the other box, but I was like, I know I checked those numbers. I just hadn't printed this one. So I have three more sales after this, but that's for the following week to come. So I'll be recording again right after this for the next week. But, um, yeah, so like I said, the I just thought, you know, this is really substantial. It is unique. I can't find anything like it. Um, you know, found the company, the jackets and their, their patchwork, but I couldn't find, I couldn't find, and it's vintage. So maybe that's why, did I just, okay. So anyway, I can't talk and work at the same time. One of the keywords I used was Mrs. Frizzle, you know, from the Magic School Bus. If you haven't seen the haul, um, it, which is blog 24. That's one of the keywords I used in here was patchwork. Um, it's art to wear patchwork floral paisley butterfly pattern linen blend women's 1x. And in the keywords, I put down Mrs. Frizzle. Don't know if it helped. That was something I saw on an Etsy. Something to do with Etsy. Anyway, I'm excited because this is going to Mary in Florida. Fun, fun. It's so the same thing with my soap. When I send out soap orders, uh, you know, body butters, just all the skincare stuff, it's like, I wish I could see them open it. I don't get to see that part. So, anyway. All right, last four of the sales for this week. And I was really excited. I'm still under my September sales. So, um, maybe, maybe I'll get it. I'm like $200. Well, actually, now that I gotta add this up for the following week. So, maybe I'm like $150 short from beating my September sales. Um, but yeah, anyway. This is another um, item that came from the haul uh, that I did in just the last vlog I just recorded in vlog 24. And this is a merino wool Ralph, polo Ralph Lauren scarf very nice soft it is very substantial you can feel the weight on it and um this was a fun <laughs> a fun sale because it was back and forth with um with someone um because i had it listed for 29 and they came in and offered 10 i'm like uh. and part of me is like okay i'm just gonna just decline because that's kind of ridiculous i just i just had listed it and is that another spot there? Maybe you can see that. I'm like, I'm doing good unfolding. I don't know if I want to undo it, but I should have 
done it. I'll do it this way. Uh, <laughs> And so I was like, no, how about 20? Like, look, I'm, I'm willing to make a deal here because I get a good deal. I'm willing to make a good deal. It doesn't take me much to photograph these. I found it at the Benz. You know, I think my, my haul was $1.27 or something like that per item. There were sold comps around that price as well. So I, I'll make a deal, but then he come, came back with 13. And so that's when I just declined. Well, some, I think he figured out if he could decline or somehow unlike, or I don't know. I don't know how he did it because he was able to get an offer sent to him. Maybe I did counter, probably I counter offered back and he declined my offer. And then a little bit later he came in the next day and offered 20. So offered, yes, offered 20. Is that right? I'll have to look, but and so I did go out of order there. This actually was one of the first things that sold, so I did it out of order. So no, he offered 18, and so my total earnings was 1440. And so my totals are in the title. So I put them, and we will get this boxed up. I'm gonna actually use a bag. This is a nice, and this is gonna go I don't know, it's interesting because it says in care of, so maybe it's a gift, which that would be special. Um, but it's going to New York, so they're definitely gonna need a scarf like this. Really nice, you can feel the quality on it and the weight, um, which is nice. You know you're getting quality, and we both got a deal. So, again, that haul's paid for because uh, because of that jacket, actually. That jacket pretty much paid for my haul. Did I tell y'all the whole, how much on that jacket? So she got it for $39. My total earnings was $28.22. So, and I believe my haul was, I don't know. I can't remember now. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ship these. Actually, I'm gonna record for the next video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you made it all the way to the end. I know these videos are long, hopefully not too chatty but I really do enjoy, um, I forgot to put the thank you on his package. <laughs> um, it's got a sticker on there, that's okay. So yeah, uh, be sure to subscribe and like, and in the meantime, waiting for other videos, you can watch these videos below um, and also subscribe. Thanks guys, bye.